to my channel. Today's video is going to be pretty short, I think. Um, God has just given me something to share with you as he revealed this to me um, in a time of prayer. I just wanted to remind you guys to show up for yourself, okay? A lot of times we get so wrapped up in the daily tasks of life. We get wrapped up in doing for others. We get wrapped up in trying to impress others, trying to live up to the standards of other people that we lose ourselves in that process. And I'm one person that has done that in the past, which is why God put me in a place of isolation from everybody that I've ever known. Um, and it was the best thing I could have done for myself. I wouldn't suggest just doing that out of nowhere. Um, I only did that because I really felt in my spirit that that's what God called me to do. And when I did that, my life changed. My life started to transform and it's still transforming right now as I speak. Um, it's the closest I've ever gotten to God um, when I went in this isolation stage. And in this, and in this time, um, it was very... Um, it was very eye-opening for me. I discovered so much about myself. I discovered things that I have not been dealing with and that I am now dealing with now in therapy and stuff. And so um, I want you to remember who you are. I want you to remember that you're not just meant to just you know, live and work and pay bills. You know, There's so much more to life than that. Now, it's totally up to you to choose that life. If that's the life you like, if that's the life you're comfortable with, then by all means, you know, do what, do what you please, you know. But at the same time, I don't think that that is the life that God promises us. And then if you, are, if you watch my video, what it means to receive something, you already know what I'm going to say in regards to that. Like, just because it's offered to you does not mean that you will receive it or that you decide to receive it. God offers and promises us so many things, but so, though, a lot of those things require us to be in a certain mindset, requires us to be a certain type of person to receive those blessings, to receive those promises. But, you, but if you don't know what it takes or who you need to be to receive those things, you'll always be in the wilderness. You'll always be feeling a, a void, an emptiness of yourself. And uh, for a while, I, I wondered what that was, like why I always felt like something was missing. And though I had God in my life, and though I was a Christian, and though I believed in God and still believe in God, um, I just wasn't living. You know what I mean? I wasn't intentional about uh, how I was living, the things that I was thinking about myself, the things that I allowed to be facts um, based on what other people told me about me. You know what I mean? And so I think that it's hard sometimes for us to think outside of um, our, our current circumstance. So for example, you have a place, you're trying to work, you, you need to pay bills. And so that routine becomes your life. That's your every day. So it becomes normal. It becomes comfortable. But then you start to feel like, man, is this all that life has to offer? Is this it? Like, why do I just feel so stuck or stagnant or just feel like, what's the point of life, to be frank? Like, some people feel that way. I felt that way before. And so God revealed to me that it's the same thing I've been told you. So God sometimes if well if you've asked God before like Lord what am I supposed to be doing what do you want me to do what do you have me to do he gives that to us and if you think about it you will continue to feel the way that you feel like that little boy thing or that weird feeling until you do it and so it'll be years that'll go by and you're like dang why I still feel this way and then you'll pray about it again and he'll say uh the same thing I've been told you since four years ago you ain't did it yet but I've been giving you grace and mercy so don't forget about your purpose don't forget about who God has called you to be and what he's called you to and most of the time when you think about those things if you really sit and think, it's nothing that's bad. It's nothing that is going to harm you. It will most likely make you uncomfortable, which is probably why you're procrastinating on it. Hello, I am guilty of that. Um, but, and that's not something I'm proud of. It's just something that I'm just very transparent. I'm, I'm honest, you know, about my shortcomings. And so God, God is working with that with me. And so we're, we're, we're working on it. I'm getting better. 
Um, and it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's definitely a daily intentional thing that you have to do um, in regards to that. But I want you to remember that dream you had, that goal you had. And sometimes you, I mean, God has us in seasons sometimes. And so I know the season that I'm in right now. My season right now is um, being a student. Um, so for me, that looks like the job I have right now, to me, it uh, I, I've been wanting to leave. Now, let's be clear. Been wanting to leave, but it is a part of what I prayed for, right? I prayed for stability. I prayed for a home. I prayed for all of this stuff. And this job is helping me have that, right? And I love my job, but I don't love... <sighs> it's. Let me just say this. It's hard to work with people who don't have the same moral code or who don't have integrity the same integrity you have who don't see things the way you see them and not to say it like oh everybody has to agree with me or it's my way or the highway it's just like basic like just moral code type of things like caring about you know the job caring about you know working as a team and things like that those are things that are very important to me and that is something that I struggle, like, I, I'm going to struggle in my position because my position is based on what those people do. And so that's why, you know, that's the only reason why I'm considering um, leaving my position, you know. But I, I haven't left because God has me there right now to be a student. And so I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to stay here until he tells me to leave, okay? And right now, I'm taking all of the lessons in. Right now, I'm developing my emotional intelligence. I'm de developing my uh, emotional maturity. I'm developing my people skills and just how to deal with different people and things like that. Because where he's taking me and what he has for me requires that. And, and I pray, Lord, don't give me anything ahead of its time. Don't give me anything that is not for me when you say it's for me. Even if I'm feeling whatever type of way, your will be done because I've already been there. God will give you what you want if when you ask for it and he'll 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 teach he'll have it as a as a teaching lesson. He's done that to me several times and I finally got it and was like, "Okay, God, clearly I asked for stuff way too early. I'm asking for the cake before the icing is on it, you know, before the decorations. I'm pulling the cake out the oven a little too soon and it's still a little soggy. So let me be slow cooked. Let me just really sit in this and learn what I need to learn so that I can be ready and well equipped for where you're taking me. And so I just began to learn how to trust God and to trust his timing, even through the rough times. And those rough times is what's building your character. It's what's building... Um, who you need to be to get the blessing that um, God has for you and where he's going to take you. And so, but a lot of times in our day-to-day -day work, our work, not our mission, not our purpose, but in our regular work, we lose sight of that and we forget, okay, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here to learn. I'm here to take in certain things so always remember that and be learning write things down when you come home what you learned at work that day or write down those you know uh moments of resistance with another person how that made you feel what you can learn from that how you can grow from that what bible scriptures can you lean on to help you when you're feeling that way because as you elevate in life it's only going to get harder because the more because think about it if you're Whatever you learn now, whatever you're growing through now, it's helping you. It's elevating you. You're getting stronger mentally. You're getting stronger physically. So the only way up is just things getting tougher in some, some aspects. Because if you're going up and elevating, you it can't get easier because you're, you're building strength. And building strength always has resistance. It always has, you know, some, some intensity to it. And so, you know... That's just life. That's just what it is. And so if you want to continue to grow, um, you have to learn the lessons that you need to learn. And even if you don't want to, that's just life. And so you're going to have a really hard life or you're going to just like settle and just like be like whatever. And, and even in that place, you're going to feel like something's missing, something's wrong. And it's something wrong and it's you not deciding to be obedient. It's you not deciding to keep going. 
Um, and that was me at one point too. Like, Lord, I'm tired of fighting. I don't want to be one of the strongest soldiers. I'm not one of the strongest soldiers. Can you let me chill for a second? Can you leave me alone? Like, I'm tired of having to just battle all the time. Like, can I get a break? And so that happened, you know, he'll give you those breaks. I'm in that stage now. Like I just got out of spiritual warfare, like maybe, was that three months ago, two, three, two months ago, something like that. Yeah. Three months ago, I want to say three or four. And I'm doing, I'm fine now, but I, I know that I know the game now. So I'm not la di da di da and relaxing now. I'm in my word trying to figure out, okay, so what happens if this happens? Because in a place of, in a time of peace, prepare for war. Okay. So when that happens again, I don't want to be caught off guard and be like, oh, Lord, I'm about to die. Lord, I can't do this no more. Oh, my God, Jesus, I want to I wanna go to, I want to die. I can't take it. I don't want to be like that. Like, I, I don't want to be weak. So I need to build my spiritual endurance right now so that when another rough time comes because it's life, I can be like, okay, I got this. It's okay. I'm a different person now. I've learned from that last experience, so I'm going to take it into this new experience, and I'm going to represent God in this moment, and I'm not going to allow these other people or these spirits in other people to, you know, move me, okay? When you're going through your seasons, you have to pay attention to when God is calling you out of that season into something else. So I'm in my learning season. At some point, I'm going to be in a balancing season where like God is like, okay, you learn what you need to learn. Now I need you to add this in there too. I need you to learn how to balance this, have the discipline to balance that. Once you've learned that, all right, it's time for you to elevate. You're a little too comfortable in this position. You've grown from this position. You, 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 you're, you've mastered that. Now it's time to move up and you're going to have to lean on me for the strength that you need to be at this level because it's something I've called you to. It's something you might not even be qualified for in the sight of man, but I've called you there. So I need you to elevate now. It's time to move. So you have to be very spiritually in tune and you have to be praying. You have to be constantly seeking God's face to know when it's time to move in your life, when it's time to do something different, or when it's really time to just stay where you're at, continue learning and just wait on God and be patient and understand that his timing is perfect and that his plans are to prosper you. So if you trust him, trust his timing, you're going to be just fine. But that's all for the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.